What's up, guys? Are you rolling? Uh, just getting situated. Go for What's it. up, guys? <laughs> Go. Alex is back there doing <laughs> slow motion jacking off and looking in my eyes. So now you're going to see how many takes it takes is John it? to get to a review. <laughs> See the sausage being made. Here we go. What's up guys, Johnny here with Team Legit and this is a follow up review of the Mini Drac. Last week we brought you guys the Maiden Flight and uh, we had a couple issues as far as the ESC goes. What I've done here is taken Chris's recommendation and I put some heat sinks on the ESC to make sure that it doesn't overheat and doesn't go into thermal cutoff. All of your guys' ESCs will be coming preset, ready to go, so you will not be having any issues. In the meantime, I've also went ahead and carved a hood scoop in here to get some nice airflow. Today is much cooler than it was last week, so we shouldn't have any issues. And I've actually been flying the crap out of this thing in the last couple weeks, and uh, I've probably put about 30 or 40 packs in it, and it just flies amazing. I have no problems launching it by myself and uh, getting up in the air. It flies really well, the power system is adequate. The uh, prop is a 7x5 like we originally had. The only thing I did was put heat sinks on the ESCs and it seemed to cure all of my ailments. So without further ado, let's get this aircraft in the air. <laughs> you really have no problems throwing it. Just make sure your CG is good. Give it a nice 30 degree angle and throw it straight. I do have a 4000 milliamp 4S LiPo in there with my run cam uh, HD2 and my run cam Swift up in the front doing the recording. All right, here we go. And as you guys can see, it's got plenty of power for takeoff. And this is cruising at about a quarter throttle, so it moves pretty quickly. I'm gonna bring it in and get some uh, low speed passes here on the deck. And when I say low, uh, low speed, this guy doesn't really like to slow down. You can very easily gain altitude at about a quarter throttle. But when you're ready to open it up, She's got unlimited vertical. <clears throat> she behaves upside down really well, just as she does right side up. I'm gonna go ahead and flip her over. I'm actually gonna go ahead and do that under the hood because it's a little bit dark contrast. Everybody keeps making fun of my color scheme. One thing I like about the uh, roll authority is it doesn't pitch up or down at all during that roll. It just does a nice crisp barrel roll. Let's see if I can get her to do a, a loop. I do have the vector in there, so. Comes out of real nice. That was crispy crunchy. That was very crunchy. Um, another thing that I really like is it just tracks so well. I mean, it doesn't have any adverse tendencies. It doesn't do anything weird. I mean, whatever angle you put it in, it stays right there. I mean, look how well it tracks. Let's see if we can do a little flyby down the deck again. This is chopped with throttled off. I'm going to show you what happens when you go on with power. It doesn't dip or dive or anything. I mean, that was my fault. It was already sinking. But it doesn't dip, dive. It just goes pretty much straight on with the throttle. All right, I'm going to go uh, goggles down. And video looks great. All right, let's put her inverted. I can do some flying later and overlay the footage. Upside down, flies just as well as right side up. 
it behaves really well. I mean, it's one of my favorite aircrafts in my hangar now. And every single time we've been going out, I've been taking this aircraft out. I've been flying them on uh, three, uh, I'm sorry, 4S 3000s and 4S 4000s and everything in the middle, like 3300s. Uh, I have not put a 2600 in there yet. I think it will be a little bit too light to hit the CG. With the 4S 3300, the Team Legit 65C battery, uh, I'm able to hit the CG perfectly with the run cam and the uh, battery slid all the way to the front. With the 4000, I have to pull the battery back just a tad. So I've got a little bit of room for the CG. I'm gonna go ahead and bring it in for a landing. Uh, landings are a little bit, uh, not tricky, but you just gotta have a lot of space because she likes to come in a little bit hot. So I'm gonna chop the throttle way out there. Actually, I might have to come around for another pass. Burning off all this steam there. Here, I'll go power on. See how it just takes off straight without doing any dip in there rolling? over the wash. Landing. Coming in. Tony, that looks great, man. Some kind of cover over here and then those vertical stabilizers and that 3D printed uh, skid that you put for me makes it just slide right across the carpet. Oh, you're Actually, welcome. I don't, I don't think I have the skid on there. I need to put it back on there. Was that a compliment or a complaint? It was a compliment. <laughs> Couldn't tell. It was both because I think it came off. Actually, no, it's, it's pretty good. All right, guys, so there you have it. There's the flight footage of the Mini Drac without any issues as far as ESC goes. I'm really happy with this aircraft. I've been flying the crap out of it. Uh, I ended up laminating mine. Again, you guys don't have to do that, but uh, I did that to seal in the freshness of this amazing paint job that all these keep uh, talking shit about. All right, guys, for more information about this aircraft, go ahead and click on the links below. I also have a build video and also an installation of the Mini Vector, which I actually didn't even turn on this flight because you don't really need it. It flies so great as it is. If you guys like seeing these maiden flights, these review videos, don't forget to click the like button. And uh, if you guys want to stay up to date with the latest and greatest, go ahead and hit the subscribe button. With Team Legit, I'm Johnny. Thanks for watching.